sometimes we get uh, we get asked to assist other bounty hunters with their cases. We recently had to assist Texas Recovery Group, which is based out of Houston, but they have some guys that work in the San Antonio area now. The case went south really fast. That day it was kind of a, we'll help you if you'll help us kind of thing. We've got a hard case that we're going after and more people would be better. Sorry guys, he's put on a lot of weight for town. We showed up on scene, we surveilled the apartment for several hours. It's definitely, I can't see him, he's behind the pillar, but oh, that's not him. That's definitely not him. Cute dog. Oh, the dog was so happy to see some. Oh, it's another dog there, that's why. We saw nothing, ended up moving on to work on another case, came back and within 10 minutes of sitting there, the target came outside and got in his mom's car. And the guy and his girlfriend comes out of the house, or the apartments, go to get the vehicle, we made the call to go ahead and hit him. Say again, that is my boy or it's not my boy? In my corn. I don't know. I really didn't know it was you. Ugh. It's out of Bear County. As soon as the specialist got to the window, he seen who we were. We told him to stop, and he cranks it up, floors it, and runs right in to the specialist's car. Went really south at that point. He really risked his own life because had he thrown it in reverse to try to get away from the car, um, I had a, a clear shot and it would have been a deadly force situation because we had guys behind the vehicle. And I'm glad it did not go that way, but he ended up, uh, he did end up damaging one of our vehicles and his mother's brand new car. Go ahead and call me. Luckily nobody was hurt but uh, it could have been way worse than what it was. And then we finally got him to get out and put him on the ground and he played the story of not knowing who we were, but it was, it was obvious that he was trying to get away. It just did not work out in his favor.